Hello everyone. In this video we talk about templates. Templates are a mighty feature in RAPLA to facilitate your planning work. Especially at universities where you have normally recurring events every semester, every trimester or at least every year. Typically you have to deal with university examination regulations that do not change every year or only in a slightly manner, hopefully. So let's check it out. This video is based on the work that we have made in the previous videos, so you can try it by yourself and log on to the RAPLA2 Playgrounds, uh, here RAPLA underscore B, on our environment. The URL are shown here and in the description below. You can log on with the user Maud, planning person in the Math Institute, with the German Peter, with German dialogues and menus from the Physics Institute, or with Marie Pauline, who works for both Math and Physics, uh, she is French, uh, with French dialogues and menus, or with the Administrator Admin. All of these with empty passwords. Keep in mind, that the playgrounds get a reset at every night 11 p.m. Berlin time. The result of this and the previous video is available on the installation rapla underscore c. And here we go. Maud here in this example is the person responsible for the schedules or planning of the Math Institute. A semester uh, at our university starts at the first Monday of April or at the first Monday in October. The lectures and examinations are almost the same. The changes are only minor and let's say the lecturer may change or, or a room. So Maud decides to create templates for every event and also creates a template for a complete semester, let's say Maths Semester 1. As I said, there are two types of templates in RAPLA and via this unimposing switch here, you can control what kind of template is being created. First we choose a template without fixed time and without fixed duration of the event inside. This template is available just for ourselves and the admin. No one else can see or use this template. However, we could change it and give rights to our colleagues. Now we create this empty template and we are back on the event editing main window. But in the upper right corner you can see that you are working on a template and not in the real world. We name the event and fill all other parameters as we would do for a real event. We repeat it, let's say, 10 times and fill in the resources needed. Let's create a second template for a single event, here Algebra 1. We name the event and uh, choose the resources. Now all resources are chosen, but, oh sorry, I forgot to repeat uh, this event, let's say, seven times. And just to show you the possibility to change the color of an event with event type math lecture, we change it. We save it and are back on the real calendar, which is still empty. Let's fill the plan with the help of our templates. We start with Calculus and instantiate it with just a few mouse clicks. And now the same for the other template, Algebra 1.
For this exercise, we delete now the events created so far. Now we try the second type of template, a template which includes several events with fixed time and with fixed duration. And here we change the switch to fixed time and duration. We name the template here Math Semester 1 and save it. Now we are back on a calendar view. But in the upper right corner we can see that we are inside a template, not on the real calendar. And in the upper left there is the button Close Template. Now we can plan inside the template as we are used to, even with the single event templates created a moment ago. And of course we can add new events inside this template. I time-lapse a little bit, but you can still see how I do the planning of a semester with two examinations after the 10 weeks of lecturing. At the end, we close the template and are back on the real calendar. This was the template creation phase and now we start with the real planning. We go to the day of the week on which the template starts. This point is extremely important. Very, very important. You start on a day where the template starts. And Simsalabim the plan is finished. We check the next week, it's lecture time, and 11 weeks after we started with the first lecture, the examinations take place. As you can see, we can change the events and appointments as usual. And because we are so fast with the templates, we do the planning for the winter semester within one minute. I hope you have got an impression of the flexibility and usefulness of this software. Maybe you find it useful for your university? If so, let me know and send me an email. Thank you for watching. Take care and goodbye.